It's Brad Wharton for World TV in association with MMA Bay, and I'm here with the new champ, Jack Hammer Marshman. Jack, how you doing? Oh, I'm over the moon, Marty. Can't, can't describe the feeling. It's unreal. Jack, you look pretty. Um, you took a lot of damage in that first round. I think uh, he might hit me once or twice. Once yeah, or twice, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> how, I mean, he's a big old boy. How does it feel being underneath I, him? I knew. I knew before the fight started, I was expecting him to put me down. Big, strong guy. He was sitting guard, ground and pound. I knew I had to ride out and, you know, take it. I didn't want to take it, but it's the fact that the guy's that strong and didn't have a choice. You know what I mean? Were you worried that the referee was going to stop the fight at all in that no, first no, round? I, 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 I kept looking at Mark to say, you know, I'm fine. Every time he said, I was, Mark, Mark, I'm fine, let it go. You know what I mean? The guy, the guy wouldn't hurt me. Obviously, he's doing the damage, but... It wasn't them shots where you can't feel yourself. You know, I was getting hit and I felt that it was all right. So, you know, I, I could have carried on there for a little longer. I was expecting him to do that for most of the second, to be fair, but he got a bit tired from the first, so. Obviously, you know, uh, with all that muscle, he was going to get tired. The second round, he did get tired. Did you know when he came out for the second round that it was going to be your fight at that point? <laughs> yeah, but then the second round, I stepped in and thought, finished the guy. Yeah, I went 100 mile an hour. You know, I'd done some damage on him, you know, throwing, throwing a lot of punches, catching him with a lot. But I didn't stop him in the second, which is something I thought I might have done if he got tired. And then I was tired in the third, but I just think my heart came through to fight it, you know. What did your corner say to you after that second round? Obviously, you know, you went all out for the finish in the second round. You didn't get the finish in the second. What did your corner say to you to motivate for the third? Exactly the same say. Second round, keep your hips low. Throw, throw the straight shots, keep them away from you. Look to finish if he comes to that shoot. But the guy's tough, man. You throw six shots at him, start getting tired, and the guy's just not budging, he's just taking it. So, hats off to him, you know what I mean? Respect to Carl Noon. You've got the British belt right there. <laughs> How's, how's it feel to be the British champion? It looks like I'm going to have to clean it a lot of shiny hair. <laughs> no, I'm over the moon as uh, the, first, the first guy to win it. I'm proud, man, you know. So, uh, over the moon. Uh, you fought in front of your regiment tonight. You had a lot of supporters here. Thanks a lot, Carl. Yeah. Carl Newt there. Um, you had a lot of supporters here tonight. What did it mean for you to go out and get the win? And uh, di did you feel the support coming from the crowd when you were going to finish him in that third Everyone round? Everyone says stuff like that. I think when you, you know, he had a, he got a lot of corner men from like UFC, stuff like that. When you're in the cage, it's just you and him. So I forget all my fans, all his fans, me and him having in the fight. It don't matter who he got in his corner. You know, that's how I see it. So it, it does help, I suppose, but it's not a big deal to me who's there, whether I'm fighting on my own. If it's in a car park, it won't make a difference to me, you know? Okay, Jack, congratulations on the win. Yeah, congratulations on the title. And, um, you know, onwards and upwards. Up. <laughs> yeah, clean your face yeah, up. Go and take a well-deserved rest. Buddy.